welcome to the post game of Dot Pack GU Volume 3. This is the end of the end. And there's a lot to do. Though GU Volume 3 was actually pretty short, especially in comparison to the other games, the post game is also the longest post game. We've got a lot on our plate. So let's take a look around. Bunch new stuff on the forum. CC Corp is over. For the most part, this is um, a pretty large topic here. About everybody who's commenting on how terribly CC Corp is done up until this point. And it's even been revealed that CC Corp actually Okay, the warrant for Ovon's arrest has actually been recalled. This once again goes back to them finding out all the information that they... that, um, CC Corp falsified. Let's see here. There's been a ceasefire! There was a great war going on in Katakistan! Which actually seems to be due to a specific... Where is it? I forget what it's called. Talos. Talos, which um, I think was mentioned earlier, is a bi... I think it was bipedal war machine type thing. But it was unmanned. Apparently, Ida got in that son of a gun as well. Apparently causing it to go slightly berserk in one of a... in a town. So both sides in this war thought it was the other side that started attacking. So, it going a little bit berserk actually started a small-scale war. But once all of this was done and figured out, though they're not yet sure why it broke down, my bet's on Ida. With all of that done and out of the way, though, it's, they've actually discovered the cause was Talops, and there's been a ceasefire. So there's peace in Katakistan. Oddly topical. A little bit more info on, uh, Online Jack. As much crap as Online Jack was getting previously, and even going in so far as to break into a CC Corp area and being arrested 
they've actually gotten um, a lot of demand to come back. And the, the opinion, the general opinion of them has gone uh, fairly well up, seeing as now everyone has realized that Online Jack was actually the first to report on the Ida incident before even they knew what Ida was. So a bit, little bit of uh, investigative journalism there went a long way. And then finally, coming back to the topics, we have a brand new episode of Online Jack. Phase 9. Though there are really only 8. I suppose this is the post-game for even Salvador Aija. After we located and infiltrated CyberConnect Corp's number four lab, the world was viciously assaulted by the third network crisis. And then, the global wide network problem. With all the dangers of worldwide disaster and the threat of extinction finally settled down. After our last investigation, we were taken in by police for trespassing and locked up in jail. If Mr. Sugai hadn't leaked information to the media, they might not have rushed to the scene, and we could have been disposed of to keep quiet. I believe, given what we've seen, it was a distinct possibility. So what did we see deep within the heart of CyberConnect's laboratory? We believe we saw evidence of the truth. Before they took us away. The missing six were found inside an old abandoned house situated very near the school. Or at least that's the story. Once released, we dropped by the hospital that was treating Uike Toru and the others. None of the children had any memory of the incident. And thus, the only real link to the truth behind the doll syndrome had been severed. So what is doll syndrome? We didn't find out anything about anything. Not about the world, or Ida. Opposing mirrors of hope and despair. Huh? Huh? Getting discharged today, miss? That's what Ida is. There were a few important things we saw in there. The, I'd say the obvious, being our mysterious lady at the end. The other, Oike Toru. He was the young child that we actually saw in the hospital bed, who was merely sitting there, laughing, like a child. Oike Toru, if you recall, was Sakaki. Someone that was as ate up, as evil as he was, simply sitting there, being a regular child. Perhaps it was the Ida's removal. Perhaps it was the rebirth. And at the same time, I really don't want to know what Azure Kite did to him. But, at least he seems to be fairly happy with his lot in life now. Now, not only do we have that, we've got a whole lot of new stuff. We have accessories, music from stuff. I think that's the only music I, that's the only music I got. Backgrounds. Now, a lot of these backgrounds you got, I got for doing a thing. Got 
from the Book of 1000. And then movies. Now, and then a lot of these movies are going to be things that we unlock near the end of the game, such as the end cutscenes. Which we've already seen. And this one, which we haven't unlocked yet. Ah, that one is still to come. We also have two new dot hack four comas! Oh man! Hey, don't push yourself. It'd be a pain if you died. Uh, okay, I know that I don't have much experience, but I can do it if I try! Jeez, are you having a really bad day or what? Maybe. Hmm. It's pretty rare to see Pi asleep. She must be really tired. What are you looking at, Baldy? Always bossing me around like you own me? Try doing something yourself for once. Oh. Was I sleeping? Good morning, Pi. That was just sleep talk. I haven't said anything yet.
from Bordeaux. And she's giving us her member address. Okay. Now, this is a funny thing about Bordeaux, and you learn more about this in the little email chain that you get with her, in the various email chains that you get with her, but what you kind of get, and this is why I actually really like Bordeaux, is she's a... She's actually kind of a complicated character. Because what you get from it is... Maybe it was originally she just kind of hated you because you were stronger than her or whatnot. But the more times she's clashed heads with you, the more it's turned into kind of a competition for her. She wants... She views you as a rival and is constantly battling trying to outdo you. And with that rivalry has actually come some kind of adoration of you. Dare I say she's actually got a bit of a crush on you. But that doesn't really show... I mean, that comes down to something like this, where she still just says, I will hunt you down, I will take you out, na da 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 but that's almost like her way of saying that she actually wants to spend time with us. It's... I really like her as a character because of that. And this is kind of an ongoing thing, but um, a complaint I've had before where... It's like all the member addresses that we've gotten all throughout the games, I don't really care. All so many characters that we've gotten that just don't really... Too. But they're both awesome and we needed to get them far earlier on in the games.
Oh, hey! Something new on the forum. Probably more people uh, yelling about... Yep, more people yelling at CC Corp for being stupid. And charging them for all the time that uh, they couldn't play. All right. That's about the size of it, really. Not looking good for CC Corp. 